If you don't know this guy, you're an idiot. Takeshi Kitano is a big Japanese superstar. He had his first breakthrough as a duo comedy group known as 2B, and then he really got big with his game show, Takeshi's Castle. I know they got a bunch of shows like this nowadays, but I mean, back in the 80s, you could really kill, <laughs> you could really kill the guys. What? He's getting crushed by a bowler. <laughs> <laughs> that guy got fucking killed. And if you make it past all the challenges, you have to fight Kitano himself in a big bumper cart, water gun, tank fight. This is the best show ever made. But it wasn't until he got into film directing that he'd become a big superstar guy. He would write, edit, direct, and star in his own movies. Uh, they're actually really violent and uh, depressing. Oh, no. Then he made this. But before any of this, he would make Takeshi's Challenge for the NES 1986 Classic. Now, as you start in your workplace, um, I hid all my savings under this tree, luckily. My secret savings. This was the one of the first games where you could go around and kill the innocent civilians. It was really a big breakthrough for video games like that. So, we gotta go to the bank now and get the rest of my money. Because pretty much all you do this whole game is spend money. Uh, make a withdrawal. Here we go. Most of the people are nice, but you gotta watch out for these assholes with green hair. They're really fucking... Uh, get out of here! They will kick the shit out of you. Now, we gotta go here, and we gotta learn, uh, to play the guitar for $45,000. Alright. Now, when you're picking a bar, you don't want to go to Grill Mormons. You don't want Club Akemi. You want Azemi Karaoke. Now, they got a lot of whores running around, and the liquor is a good price. It's good. It's cheap. So, uh, we're just gonna keep drinking here, and drink, and drink, and drink until you black out. Then you wake up in your house, your wife is angry, you got, you can either beat your wife or jump over. I like to jump over, it's, uh, it saves you some health. Um, she's pissed, cause that you're drunk again. I, I want a div you have to get a divorce. And she, uh, she thinks you're seeing somebody else, so you gotta pay alimony. Um, now, this part, you can either, you can either... Leave or you can kill the kids. I like to kill the kids at this part. If you hold down and jump, you'll get a you'll get really get a lot of air on your jump for jumping over this lady. Then you gotta go back to your work where you started. Uh your boss isn't happy with your performance. So he just gives you a little money. But um you can quit your job to get some extra cash. Uh, not really, not, I'm not really thinking long-term strategy here. I just need to recover some of this divorce money. So, and then we head to the culture club. Get the hell out of my way. Uh, we're going to learn how to hang glide. That's going to come in useful, I think, in Hamtaro language. Just so I can speak to gerbils. But Donkey, why do you want to hang glide and talk to gerbils? Well, I'm glad you asked me because I'm going to the South Pacific. I bought a plane ticket. Now, we got to go to the pachinko machine. I bought a hundred balls, uh, probably should, I, I mean in a hundred tries, I'm, I'm guaranteed to win at least once. Come on. Get in there. Come on, you fucking thing. Get in there. Fucking shit. You actually have to utilize your NES microphone that I know you all own. Uh, or alternatively, you can plug a controller into the second port and hold down A to do the voice thing. Um, so the, the walkthrough says you have to shout while you lose. So I gotta loot. I just won. No! It keeps... <laughs> so I... God damn it, it keeps winning. Stop! <laughs> it won't let me lose now. <laughs> Fucking thing. So we gotta... We gotta get down. Alright, I almost got... Uh, Fucking... No! Why am I back at 130? You... F I know I don't got the NES microphone, but I'm... I'm still shouting anyway. Pachinko. Hey, I'm not a dick. I'm gonna kill all you guys, you sons of bitch. Oh, they... Alright, they killed me in one hit. The only way to get your health back in this game is to go to Bar Gold and buy the tequila. That'll give you one heart, but the, the joke of it is that this fucking guy comes and hits you while you're trying to get your health back. So you gotta kill him, and another, send him, they keep sending more guys. So you gotta keep getting a tequila, and keep fighting them, and get back on the chair real quick before they come and hit you. <laughs> oh fuck, he's coming at me. Okay, one more tequila, please. Okay, one more, one more tequila. <laughs> fuck, okay, let's get out, let's get out. 
Now that I'm loaded on tequila, maybe I could lose this pachinko part. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, pay me some respect. This is my store, huh? <laughs> okay, we gotta fight, kill these guys. And they got all the, they got the balls, the pachinko balls that you wanted. So you trade that, you buy the guitar with that. And that's, now we gotta get the treasure map from the bartender. Get out of my way, you little tramp. This song goes out to my dead children. I killed them when I got divorced. And to my dunk fans. They only got one song, Rain of Tears. Cause I'm crying, cause this game on Kamadi Domu Chi Chichi Kayu Watashi am by Shankadu Uncle the Talismans What? That was I put my soul into the performance. You can't say that was shit. This is the other technique. You gotta hit the button as fast as humanly possible. <gasps> I won! <laughs> Oh, you know, I do it for the fans. You know, I do an encore just because I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm. It's too hard to keep hitting it so fast. Hey, fuck you. 